was ratified. Shortly after that was ratified in the late, mid to late 1800s, uh, all states made abortion a crime. So he goes back and looks and says, Roe is just wrong. And yes, stare decisis, which means we let the decision stand, uh, that's an important consideration, and that's why the court in 1992 refused to overturn Roe versus Wade. But today the court is saying the court in 92 was wrong, this was wrong when it was decided, and it is our duty to correct it as a matter of constitutional law. Because again, constitutional rulings, uh, judges generally get to decide to amend it. It's very difficult to pass a constitutional amendment. Is the fact that Roe versus Wade the direct result of the three conservative justices that President Trump put on the Supreme Court? Yes. Yes. Yes, because this is why uh, elections, actually, no matter what side of this issue you are on, the addition under President Trump of three conservative those, justices who oppose abortion rights. Absolutely. The opinion was written by Justice Samuel Alito. He was nominated for President George W. Bush. It was joined by Justice Clarence Thomas, nominated by President George H.W. Bush. And the three other conservatives who joined that opinion, Justice Bill Gorsuch, Justice Brett Kavanaugh, and Amy Coney Barrett, all three nominated by President Trump. You need five votes mm -hmm. to have a majority. There's a conservative on that court, Chief Justice John Roberts. He did not join this majority. He's written separately saying that he agrees with the outcome, but that suggests he's not willing to go as far as this court, as he suggested or